Yo, the morning started out with a 2.35 a.m. soft tap at my front door. It was my brother, Lionel James, captain of Lion's Tail Adventures. I was ready. The day felt like Christmas, with a sense of nervousness mixed with excitement for the adventure ahead. I grabbed my cup of coffee, kissed my wife, and headed out the front door to Hopedale, Louisiana. The drive was a little over four hours, so I knew there would be a lot of time for us to chop it up, which only adds to experience because I have so much respect for Lionel, his business mind, and his work ethic. I couldn't wait to get into the nitty gritty. The ride was epic, full of perspective and feedback. Feeling like we could have recorded three podcast episodes before being topped off by an epic sunrise as we crossed into Louisiana. This was an exciting morning because it was filled with a lot of firsts for me. It was my first time in this part of Louisiana. It was my first time going on a guided fly fishing trip. And it was my first real opportunity to test how good my casting was or was not. When we arrived at the dock, it was 34 degrees and the fleet was on the move. Our trip, it was with Captain Max McKinney of Maxed Out Fishing Charters. When Max arrived, we jumped on the skiff and headed out the channel into what looked like an endless maze of marsh. As we arrived at the first spot, my nerves were heavy and I had a slight shiver from the freezing ride, which didn't help with my stability. I couldn't help but think, is it going to be how it looks on Instagram with red fish everywhere? My eyes are scanning for everything, looking for anything moving because I wasn't sure what the fish or these fish would look like in this kind of water. Keeping my eyes peeled about 40 yards away from the boat, I missed my first opportunity at a redfish that was swimming literally 10 feet from the boat. The fish was so close, I didn't even know how to get my fly in front of it, and the small window of opportunity I had was gone just as quick as it came. I shake it off, I tell myself, get ready for the next one. Sheephead, 10 o'clock, 10 feet. I hear Max from the polling platform. Spooked him, and just like that, I'm over two. Feeling a bit defeated from not being ready for the first two opportunities, I was ready to give up my spot on the casting platform. Lionel, however, let me get another shot before he tagged in, and man, I was happy I did. After a short ride to another spot, we pull into what Max called a pond. After pulling around for a few minutes, I hear again, 10 o'clock, 60 yards. When I turn around, I see a full tail of a tailing redfish waving at me. This is the moment I came to Louisiana for, and my adrenaline jumps to 10. Max gets me closer, and I prepare to take my first cast at a Louisiana redfish. My first windup dropped just behind the redfish. Pick it up five more feet to the right, Max instructs. I pick up my line and recast a cast that not only feels great, but lands perfectly. Three strips later, I landed my first redfish on fly. He took off. <laughs> Three pointer step back. Step back.
what a sense of relief and accomplishment. After getting more than our fair share of opportunities in this pond, we decided to move to another spot. Fishing is fishing. And after a few misses and a slow bite, I get up on the bow for the last time. Creeping along, I see a slow moving fish at 12 o'clock. After a few short casts to get just enough line out, I dropped the fly inches in front of the black drum. This black drum had me in the back of the Orvis reel before I knew it. After a nice fight, we landed the beast and I feel full. It was a great day, not just because we caught fish, because of the nature of the entire experience. I got to go to Hopedale with great company, with perfect fly fishing conditions. I caught beautiful fish on my fly on my first trip. I am complete. Let's go! Nice.